Hi, my name is Jake Boston Kemper, agronomy lead with Look Grow. Hi, I'm Katie Hess, sales and marketing at Liquor Grow. And Jake and I came out here today and he brought a shovel and I thought, oh, this might be the end of me. So here we are in this hole looking at these corn roots. And Jake, can you tell them why we're here? Yeah, Katie, this is not the end, don't worry. <laughs> and for once, you're finally taller than me. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we came out here today and we dug these holes because these sandy soils are a really good place to get a good idea of what this root system looks like. We can excavate this sand from around these roots and get a really good idea of just how big this root Jake, system is. Jake, we go to a lot of meetings and farmers are always asking you, Jake, how do I grow more yields? So can we uh, tell the folks what, how this all works together? Yeah, so that is a common question that I get. You know, how do I take my yields to the next level? And as many of the folks know, I do a lot of research looking at a lot of products and new technologies. And the reason we came out here today is I wanted to talk about one such thing that we've developed, some technology that we're bringing to the market. So let's talk about this fertilizer placement. Yeah, so I brought you out here specifically because I wanted to show you and the folks just how big kind of the effective root system is on these corn plants. And these sandy soils are a really good place to do that because you can excavate around these roots and get a really good idea what the root system looks like. And so what I found in small plot research is that, generally speaking, the closer we place abandoned nutrients to these corn rows, generally the higher the yield goes. And we really start to see yields pick up when we get closer than about six inches. So somewhere around that six inch mark, we really start to see yields go up. And when you look at this root system, that makes a lot of sense, okay? so. You know, research shows that most, a grand majority of the, of the immobile mineral nutrients like P and K are taken up in about an eight by eight inch box around these plants, okay? And that's about <laughs> how wide this root system is here, okay? Um, so it makes sense. When we place nutrients closer to the middle of this plant, we tend to see yields go up and we have higher yields. And that's the thing you can do to take your, your, your farm to the next level. So you're saying the roots are not as far out as that some people might think they are. And P and K is not moving sideways, so the closer Correct. we can get, the better we are, especially yep. with the fertilizer prices the way they are and yep. the yields are that we're pulling yep. off today. That's right. P um, and K does not move sideways very far at all. And so that brings the question, why are we broadcasting across this entire soil surface or the entire area when we really need to focus the mineral nutrients much closer to the plants? So what's your team finding out and where are you guys going with this? So, you know, what we've done with all this research is we've developed something called our exact strip technology. So very briefly, our exact strip technology is this. So we can take RTK guidance lines from the farmer's planter tractor. We can then convert and import those guidance lines into a computer system where we can then convert those uh, back to our floaters. So because we're sharing guidance lines, we can apply a band of fertilizers, of suspension fertilizer, very close to where the crop's going to be planted. Great. So basically, if if I hear you right, um, if you're in the market for a strip till bar, you're not really sure you're ready to pull the trigger on that yet. Maybe this is something you could even try. Absolutely. Yep. Not as much labor that you probably need for that. And um, anyway, anything else you'd like to tell the folks? I would just like to say that we covered this topic very quickly. If you want more information and details, please contact your Liquor Grow salesman. Thanks. No harvest is going well. Stay in the know with Liquor Grow.